Oh my god. Oh, bro. Oh, my god. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. the nicest swab I've ever seen. There's one tornado. Go, go, go. Oh god. Oh, we're going to go to tornado. Oh, no. Oh my god. It's not a good day for me. Yeah, so uh, at this point in the trip, we feel like old men. We're falling apart. Alex has some horrible back problem or shoulder problem, so we've slung his arm. Give us a look. Shout out to my Boy Scout days. <laughs> <laughs> Recall your Boy look Scout this. knowledge. He's got the T-Rex arm for the day. It's um, ideal, but... I have really bad back pain right now. So, uh, I'm fine. Yeah. We're heading up into the mountains right now. Uh, we're going to cruise on the way up there and hopefully we get something. I'll be right here. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna be right next to him when I open my door. That's a really pretty one. Fired up. Okay. Uh, grab the bowl, Alex. Oh, yeah, that one. oh. oh whoa! <laughs> really quick while we have it, point some stuff out from the scanning huh? and then just watch your shadow. All right, guys, so we've got a Mojave here. Uh, we've been filming it for car Another car coming. part of a documentary series. We've got a car coming, so we're gonna make sure the snake is off the road. Cool to finally get a daytime Mojave and get some chances to get pictures of it. We're headed up into the mountains right now, and the next target to observe are Clobs, so banded rock rattlesnakes and uh, Arizona ridge nose rattlesnakes. We'll see if we're lucky enough to see those. That is a beautiful snake. All right, guys, at the base of this tree, we just hiked up this banded rock rattlesnake. This was the big target of the day, and uh, we we're getting pretty nervous that we weren't gonna find one. We've been walking around for a while, and uh, Dave spotted this one while we were all following suit at the base of this tree. Uh, he buzzed us before we even got to see him. And uh, here he is, just hanging out. He's, uh, you know, moved a little bit from in situ, but for the most part, he's just hanging out where he is. This is a protected species here, so we're not really allowed to touch these guys. We're just gonna admire it as it is. It's got a beautiful, beautiful green stripe down the back, lavender on the sides, and the thing that people say about these snakes is that on camera, whether it's photos or video, it is just nothing compared to what it is in person. But man, that's beautiful. Huh, what a beautiful snake. This is one of my favorite snakes of the trip, if not my favorite snake. That thing is electric. I didn't think we'd see one so, so green. Say fare thee well, get back to what you were doing. We're gonna keep hiking around and hopefully we can see some other montane species or even more of these guys. Clob. It's a female. All right, guys, clob number two. Beautiful rock rattlesnake. This one very different looking than the last. Look at all these spots it's got on it. It's really, really pretty. These have to be one of my favorite snakes of the trip so far. Up there with the green rat, because, oh my god, how can you... It's like a mint green snake. It's beautiful. Lavender on the sides. Stunning. We're going to take a couple pictures of the snake and then we're going to continue on our hike. Hopefully it's one of several. That's a cool pattern. Yeah, that's badass. Wow. So sick. 
All right, when Alex is done here, we're gonna move on from this snake and keep hiking. Big club on the crawl right here. I'm trying to get the other guys to come. This one's nice and minty green. I'm hoping that he just kind of stays put so we can get a good look at him. All right, buddy, come on, calm down. All right, here this guy is momentarily chilling out. We're probably just gonna let this one on its way because we've had some pretty good observations with the other ones and we don't want to stress it out too much, especially as it gets warmer into the later portions of the morning. So we're gonna keep hiking, hopefully get a ridge nose rattlesnake and uh, then we'll see where we go next. That's beautiful, the clouds. So uh, we ended on that last glob and we are heading down in elevation to civilization to get some food because we are very hungry. And uh, after that, we're gonna go probably back up into the mountains, maybe not as high, maybe take a shot at the tiger. We're just getting lunch. We saw the clouds coming and me and Matt went to go set up a time lapse, but we started getting dumped on. <laughs> I'm real wet for just a couple minutes out there. For a couple seconds, really. Look at that rain. Huh. Well, I don't know what this will do for later, but I'm sure it will be factored into where we go and what we look for. I don't know. A lot of factors, a lot of variables. Maybe amphibians tonight. Amphibian night. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're heading up the mountain right now, hoping for a uh, pyro in between this rain. <laughs> we're gonna see if we get lucky. Oh, that's dope. What if you caught that thing? You're probably mean like raccoons. Oh, he's having a hard time. He did it, yay! Oh, that's so cool. I pointed out the quaddy and then you waited like 30 seconds and you're like, quaddy, quaddy! We just drove by this cave, had to stop to check it out. The rain is imminent, and maybe there's stuff taking cover in here. There is nothing. I am a fool. starting the temperatures drop pretty rapidly um, it's raining it's hope we don't get stuck over here oh god should we turn around no we're fine keep going okay should I trust you <laughs> no we're gonna get stuck in a wash <laughs> look it's 67 oh no we're about oh well okay this going. is down just low put, yeah. that, that is that water no idiot it's dirt it's okay. gonna be water in two <laughs> seconds dude <laughs> We made it out of the hills. No snakes. Here comes some rain on cue. Did it go in? I didn't see it at all. Where'd it go? All right, come on, come on. I want to see pink coach so badly, dude. Man, how did I miss it? <sighs> yeah, we just lost a really nice pink coach whip. <sighs> I guess onward, but I'm really hoping we get another chance this trip. idea what you were talking I about and you're I, I was getting out trying not to step on a rattlesnake because I knew we pulled up right yeah. next to whatever it was and I just saw the bands moving <laughs> oh my gosh all right guys check this out this was not on our radar at all 
Um, it definitely makes up for missing the pink coach whip. We're just gently tweezing them here, and we're gonna take pictures of them in a little bit. Um, but wow, what a snake. Sonoran coral snake. So obviously pretty venomous, but at the same time, unlikely to be bitten by this snake. Look at the little candy cane, dude. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be a, a pain in the butt to photograph. Wow. As here we are, we just did a photo session with this coral. Beautiful little snake. Super, super exciting to see. We are going to return it to exactly where we found it and then keep looking for stuff. We're very excited. Addiction is a disease, bro. Addiction is a disease. An addiction to snake hunting. Uh, we're gonna cruise, see what else we get. Oh my gosh. So even in the rain, it's... <laughs> This is so cool, <laughs> a little tiger rattlesnake. This was a huge target for the trip for us because it's gonna be part of one of our documentary style videos. So I'm not gonna take a ton of footage of this one. I'm probably gonna save it for the, um, the other episode, which this snake will get a lot of glamor shots in. So I'll show you guys a quick look at it and then we're gonna keep cruising. Camera's getting a little rained on. You wanna know what's really crazy? What? It only has one button. I see that. So this, much for this... dramatic rattle footage of it. <laughs> see that? That's what Alex was doing too. Boy, you should get this moth for B-roll. All right, so we were cruising, just getting ready to leave. And we're driving down the road and some guy who doesn't want us to make a pass without him being in front spins around on a mountain road this like boob. This close to us. This close to us. As we're coming down the mountain so that, sporadically. So that we, you know, don't find whatever common fodder he'll be finding. So, you know, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And we found this the other night. This, this is a fake coral for a the record. A fake coral snake. Some electrical tape. Could be a Smet Logic special. But could be. We're, we're going to deploy a little surprise for him. And uh, you won't see the outcome of this because we will be long gone. But I'm sure he's going to be very excited. Like <laughs> ghosts in the night. <laughs> Ooh, air trucks. Aren't you pretty? It's about time we started seeing Wait, these. Wait, a regular tail banding. Oh, that's cool. Zipper pattern. Oh boy. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> go, go, go. You get a move on. Oh wow, look at him go. You would be like the one last night if you tried to get him to stay still. Yeah. I thought we had another coral. That's Baby cool. long nose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thing. Oh, he's biting. Oh my god. What does it look like? It looks good. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> look at this centipede. That oh my enormous. god. Holy cow. All right, let's Chuck, put him off the boat. Go that way. Go that way. Don't fling him at me. Whoa, that's a big one. Get off. Whoa, that's cool. All right, um, it was a very long day, a very successful day, but this is the end. So if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Catch us next week where we will be going out. <laughs> what? I can't get my backpack out. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one where we will be looking for snakes in Arizona again.